Hello, I'm Tim Shoebridge. Just a very, very quick video. Um, I'm selling off a load of gear at the moment, uh, just bits and pieces that, that I haven't used in a long time and I can't see myself using, to be honest with you. So basically, I'm just hoarding it. Um, and one of the pieces of gear that I'm selling off is this here, the rather glorious looking Creamware Minimax ASB. It's an emulation of the classic uh, Moog Model D. Uh, there are quite a few people out there that think this is some kind of clone. It's not a clone, it's an emulation. It's just software inside here, uh, wrapped up in a rather glorious little hardware interface, I have to say. It does look wonderful and it's great to play. Obviously, it's software, so therefore it can do stuff that the original Mini Moog couldn't do. You can press a couple of buttons and turn it into polyphonic mode, for example. It's also got effects built in. Uh, it's got presets. It's a really wonderful little thing. And as I'm talking about it, I'm wondering why I'm selling it. But never mind. Uh, what I thought I'd do, I've never done a video about this. I haven't got time now to do a review of it or anything. Uh, but what I thought I'd do is just a very, very simple, rough and ready uh, sound comparison. Someone mentioned in one of my videos the other day that they'd seen that I've got a Studio Electronics SC1X as well as a Waldorf Pulse. And they were asking why have I got both of them. And my response basically was, well, the SE1X, it does the Moog sound. It's got that Moog filter smudge that the, the Pulse just doesn't do. Um, and that got me thinking with this, maybe I should compare it against the Studio Electronics SE1X and see how it stacks up. Does it have the Moog sound? Does it have the Moog filter smudge? Let's find out. This is just a little bit of fun. Don't take it too seriously. But ancient 2006 software technology versus the very, very glorious all analog SE1X from Studio Electronics. That's what's coming up. I really do hope you enjoy it. As always, thank you very, very much for watching. Right, so let's kick off the proceedings. This is a low budget movie. Uh, I've just got the one camera, one camera position. But we're gonna start with the obligatory filter sweeps, starting off with no resonance. We're just listening to one oscillator playing a sawtooth. Okay, so let's switch to about 50% resonance. Not exactly the same, but they are pretty damn close to my ears. Okay, let's just whack up resonance 100%. The SE1X is a lot more steppy, now that might be reality, 
but uh, it, I don't personally like it. I prefer the smoother version. Right, let's move on to something a little bit more realistic. I've set up a filter envelope, uh, a little bit of a slow decay, a bit of a stabby kind of sound modulating the filter cutoff. We're going to start off with no resonance and then crank it up as we go. Minimax is a little bit brighter at the top end, so I'm just going to change the tracking. I really think you'd find difficulty distinguishing between the two of these in a mix, to be honest with you. <laughs> 